okay everyone I got wind this is the new hub made by Johnny uh, really really happy with it today I've actually put really fast blades on my Amtec um, and this yeah this is the new hub from Johnny and it's, uh, it's a really good hub I've had these uh, I've had 4.5 amps out of my Amtec with these sort of blades they're quite small but uh, this section here which is basically where the wind hits it and makes it move around it's just not uh, big enough so they need to be something like that uh, this bit here I just took I had a, a four bladed hub there took it apart and I've used this for here as you can see I've gone through loads of blades this one was the, the wooden ones here I've actually tripped over uh, on my treadmill and they I dropped the whole thing and it broke but these used to be well they, they were quite fast um, I've actually dropped it which and I broke it so it's, that's a bugger and that's another hub from Johnny he seems to be doing the right thing because all the holes and everything line up now this I had a last night uh, put him on I've had this for and um, it was pretty really 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 fast but I, I took it down because I'm just a bit worried that this section here just seems quite flimsy and I'm scared of this might break I mean I've had I've got plywood going all the way to there if I just show you the back that goes onto there just to support the blade so basically for the Amtec I need something like this but then smaller around here so what I've done today I'll just use a belt sander, a bit of saw uh, these, this, this is an old microwave that I'm trying to get rid of it or get things from it and what I do, I just pick this up I'll just put this and I'll just make the blade, so as you can see this one here it's got bit more body there, a bit more meat there so hopefully the wind will pick that up and it'll make it move another thing I've noticed from uh, just having a look at some websites at the tip here, if this here instead of being uh, keep going straight, if it just goes in a little bit I think it makes it go slightly faster I don't know, I'm just about to take a and then what I do, after I cut him I just put him in a scale and this should be 214 bit windy today so but the day so I try to make all of them the same the same weight by using this kitchen scale then I fit them on that hub and uh, yeah this is Johnny's hub looks really good looks the business and uh, like I said this thing here these blades they spin really fast but you need a fair amount of wind to, to get it going so hopefully by having a new blade bit more body in there they come up to about there the wind will hit it it'll start moving but it's small as well so they'll still spin faster but they'll just have a better start up speed and that's it as you can see I've gone through loads of blades but I think finally I found ones that I think will do the job so if you're if you've got an Amtec 30 and you need loads of speed I think this is the ones to go for something like that anyway the more the more you got in here so basically when, when it's fixed to the hub this is like that and if you want to get a side view this is basically what they'll look like um, so hopefully the wind will, uh, yeah, will hit this and it'll just make a shift and because of the size they're only about uh, well they're bang on on 18 inches it's windy so I gotta hurry up because I wanna, I wanna test this okay I'll probably do a film later on tonight or in the afternoon like I said Johnny's hubs they uh, they seem they seem to be the business and he's quite a nice fellow I've spoken to him on the phone as well and uh, yeah he's a got wind member as well I think so uh, I'll fit the new blades in he's actually supplied me everything he's, he's by me the hubs, these little screws, 
uh, bolts, washers, really nice bloke. And uh, these are the babies that go really, really fast. So once, just for the people that are probably studying up, once I, I put him in there, I did measure from here, so from here to there, and then from there to there, just to make sure that they all, you know, and then go back to there, make sure they're, they're all the same. And then what I do, I get something that I could put in here, and I can basically balance it until it's uh, absolutely level. And if they're not, then you just put maybe weights here at the back or something like that until they're perfectly level because you don't want uh, loads of vibrations going through the um, going through the tower it also beats up your turbine the bearings and stuff so the smoother you can get it it's really hard to actually get it like 100% but if you get it 95% or 90% then uh, you're laughing so you just take your time and, and yeah go for it these ones here on the treadmill they go really really fast the treadmill is up, up there next to the solar panel and that one there, obviously because it needs, actually I'll show you later.